Hello, Sheldon McDonald here. Um, just a little update on my uh, my music macro language uh, stuff for uh, assembly language. Um, I had to do a bit of an update where I changed it so the uh, it's not technically compatible with with basic anymore. Um, I ended up changing the lengths. Um, so they were easier to read in the string, uh, in assembly, but it, it's still not too bad. So, um, an example is like O4, as you see there, that means octave four, L1, um, you have the length of the notes, uh, they range from zero to eight. And I did, again, I did it this way to speed up the player. Uh, rather than it saying L32 or L1, you know, it, it just looks at one single digit and adjusts it. Um, and then I added a, another thing called H1 and H2. This allows for percussion sounds to play in, in, in the string. Um, so that's the main difference is I changed my pauses and my lengths from zero to eight. Eight being the longest tone or longest pause. Zero being the shortest length or the, the shortest pause. Um, so it, it's still not too bad to to actually parse, a, like put a song together like this. And the great thing about this is you'll be able to make sound effects and stuff and string it through real quick. Um, this player is, is set up now to use two channels, and I'm kind of I'm gonna demo a, a Jurassic Park song here. Um, so I'm gonna run this, and and it should have uh, the two channels going, and the percussion at the same time. <laughs> 